Thanks for joining us. I-90 is back open near Preston tonight, but it was shut down for hours today after that crash left cars on fire and flipped them onto their roofs. Troopers say one driver jumped the median and barreled into oncoming traffic. Come of course, John Humbert is live at Harborview Medical Center. And John, what do we know about the victims tonight? Well, it varies greatly, guys. We've learned that the driver at the center of this accident is in stable condition here at Harborview. That's an upgrade. But the Washington State Patrol says that a 19-year-old woman is in serious condition at Overlake, as is another man. And when you look at everything that happened earlier today, it's amazing that any of them are still alive. Hours and hours of going nowhere and for a horrible reason. Look at the cars and it was ugly. Eric Wallstrom's afternoon drive westbound on I-90 became a fight for survival along with fellow driver Jennifer Simon. Those pieces and cars and fire and everything kind of flying. The Washington State Patrol says this green Jeep came from eastbound traffic into oncoming traffic on I-90 plowing down the berm and the chain reaction was on starting with this truck. Saw that vehicle coming at him head on and he swerved to avoid it and rolled several times. Simons and Wallstrom were in separate cars and stopped and saw the Camry after the crash. The driver was injured, but she was able to get away. This car was seriously, you know, engulfed in flames. WSP says it was the green Jeep that came careening from the other side of the highway. It caught fire too with the driver nearby. I just went immediately to him to make sure that there wasn't anyone else in the car and just tried to kind of keep him down. Wallstrom grabbed an extinguisher from his car and put out the flames while waiting for rescue. The guy was on the ground was in so much pain and realizing there's very little you can do. The man in the overturned truck was taken to Overlake along with the young woman in the Camry. WSP doesn't know why the 28 year old man in the Jeep went into oncoming traffic. The Good Samaritans know that this could have been worse. We're just so thankful that it wasn't you, you know, 10 seconds earlier. Now, traffic backed up for nearly four hours along the highway, and it filtered out into the side streets and into those frontage roads. Everything, though, is back to normal tonight. Reporting live at Harborview, John Humbert, Como 4 News.